Hi everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Learning with Lori. I recently attended a, a little information session with a mortgage broker and they spoke about re reverse mortgages. And if you're like myself, you may not know very much about them. I know we've heard about them. I would say they generally come with a bad rap. Uh, not a lot of people took reverse mortgages. Uh, however, they are starting to have a bit of an uptick in people looking into them and having them. So what I wanted to give you today was a very little bit of information so that you can go to your mortgage broker and get the information that you need. I am not qualified to give information on this at all. I'm just trying to give you a little bit of nuggets about it. First and foremost, you need to find a mortgage broker who deals with reverse mortgages and who has done them in the past. It's very, very important that they know what they're doing as far as that goes. Um, I do have notes from that presentation that I went to and I am gonna read directly from them because I wanna make sure that the information I give you is correct so that when you go speak to your mortgage broker, it is right information that you're asking them about. So. Currently, right now, they are only available in Ontario, British Columbia, British Columbia, Alberta, and Quebec. Um, they're only available in major city centers, so they're not available in rural areas. Um, the property has to be owner occupied. The homeowner has to be at least 55 years of age. Now, I will put a star beside that. Definitely, if you're 55 years young, I don't think this is a product that you want to look into. It's not for people who are still 55 years young. This is for older people. Um, the older you are, the better this program is for you. Um, and the minimum property value is $250,000. But given the areas that I said is, is uh, they are available, I think that's a pretty easy threshold to meet. A um, couple things to keep into consideration what, with a reverse mortgage is there's not a monthly payment required for it. So that's one of the reasons why they are desirable to people. Um, you can never be forced to sell your home if you have a reverse mortgage. Um, your loan to value ratio is only 59%. So you can't, um, you can't mortgage the whole amount. It's up to 59% of the value of the home. Um, and the money that you get from that mortgage is tax free. So that is something that you need to keep into consideration. Uh, the, another thing that I wanted to let you know in regards to it, um, 90% of Canadians today say that, that they want to age in place. And this is why this product is becoming a little more desirable for people to be able to afford for the care that they potentially would need to age in place. This gives the income that, or the funds, sorry, that is required to do that. Um, generally speaking, a home is an appreciating asset. So over a period of time, the value um, should the value of the home should be worth more. And generally speaking, yes, it has been a precarious couple of years in real estate, but in the long haul, yes, generally real estate still is an appreciating asset. And finally, um, kind of back to the aging in place, 51% of people have a strong resistance to move, move out of their community. So this gives them an opportunity to be able to stay at home. Um, towards the end of their life. I know it's not a lot of solid information there, but just kind of wanted to let you know that if you do have family members or you yourself are trying to figure out how are you gonna manage this next stage of life, that a reverse mortgage may be something worth looking into. Um, you really need to make sure that you get a mortgage broker who is knowledgeable in this um, and, and maybe give you some options that you did not realize that you had. My name is Lori Roberts. I am a full-time real estate broker in Durham region. If you ever need information to make informed real estate decisions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.